So for those who just joined us, my name is Pooja and I'm taking the class for Palak Studio Inc. today. Uh, we will be painting a very simple uh, painting. It's very beginner friendly. Anyone can join. All ages are welcome. It's going to be a very slow and um, uh, easy painting to follow. Uh, if you have any trouble following today's session, it's recorded and it will be posted to the Palak Studio Inc. YouTube channel, as well as on the website. I will be sharing the link for that. As you can see, uh, to my dark blue, I have gone in with a more sky blue and I'm just blending that out. I use thick GS, watercolor GSM, 300 GSM uh, watercolor paper that makes it um, my paper very uh, durable uh, to all these blending techniques and uh, the fact that I'm layering it again and again, the paper doesn't tear or crumple. So that's the kind of paper we would recommend using. I will be uh, sharing a list of all the materials that I generally use so that it will be uh, easier for you in case you want to go ahead and purchase those for your art journey. The Amazon links will be there as well, uh, so that can help you uh, decide uh, what materials are good. If you have any questions, please do post them in the chat section and I'll slowly address them as we move ahead. So I've just added a bit of white and I'm blending that all together. I'm using acrylic paints. If you're using watercolor, that's fine as well. Just make sure uh, that whenever we move on to the next step of the painting, your paper is completely dry. I will be slowing down in sections so that everyone can catch up, especially those who just joined us. Whenever you introduce a new color, make sure to blend it out by going back and forth and up and down, but always in the same direction. I can see quite a few familiar faces here today. Kashpi, Destiny, so good of you to join us again. I hold these classes every Thursday at the same time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. Um, these are free, easy, beginner friendly, and uh, I would be very happy if you could join us every week. I do request, however, that at the end of the class, you do leave me a Google review. That would be really helpful for me. I'll be now waiting for my background to join, uh, to dry out a little bit so that I can start off with the next section of my painting, which will be painting the bird.
I'd love to know where some of you are joining us from. Uh, if you could just mention that in the chat section, I would love to know where uh, the part, which participant is from which city. Hi, Hillary from Oklahoma. That's great. Thank you for joining. KJ is joining us from Portland. Hi, KJ. Hi, Diane. That's great. It's so amazing that 68 of us could join us today. I'm from Calgary, Canada. Sammy, Cotton, and Sophia from Seattle. We have someone from Windsor, Ontario. Hi, Nella from Washington. I'm so happy you could join us today. I will be starting off with my next section since my background is relatively dry. Please be sure your background is completely dry before you move on to the next section. So I'll be lightly drawing out uh, my branch on which my bird will be sitting. I'm drawing this a bit darker than what is advisable so that everyone can see. Uh, if you're doing this, please make sure you have you make lighter lines because you don't want them visible when you paint over it. So this is the branch where my bird will be perched on. I just shared the link which has a list of my materials in case anyone is interested in seeing what materials I generally use or recommend. I will be going ahead and now drawing my bird. Again, please be sure your lines are lighter than what I'm drawing.
Again, I'd like to mention, this is a very simple way of drawing the bird. This is mainly for beginners and those who just like to join us on this art lesson. I'm keeping it very simple so that everyone can draw and enjoy the process. I do conduct advanced lessons as well. So if you'd like to know more about that, please visit the link that I just shared in the chat section. It tells you more about the paid lessons that I conduct, which are also virtual. All right, moving on. Just go ahead and draw the claws. Okay, so I'll be going ahead and starting with painting my bird. Uh, I will be starting with black. Here I'm using a very thin brush. I want to make sure that my lines are very neat. Maya asks, are you using black, brown, or a mix for the branch and the bird? Maya, I'll be using a mix of black and brown for the branch, uh, but for the bird, it'll be primarily black for the body, this section.
I'll be moving on to the tail, which will be black as well. If anyone has any questions, please do, please do leave them in the chat section. I'd love to answer your questions and make this a more interactive session. If some of you have joined late and are unable to catch up, this session is being recorded and will be posted shortly after the session is over on our YouTube channel as well as on my site on the site and uh, you can refer to it there and catch up. I also painted my the eye of the bird black and as well as the tip of the beak since I've already taken my black paint out. The next color that I'll be using is yellow. for this section of the bird as well as for the beak. I hope everyone is being able to catch up and I look forward to seeing all your lovely artworks at the end of the session. I'll go ahead and paint my beak yellow as well. And then we'll be adding a couple of shades in there to give it a more realistic appearance. As you can notice, I've left this part blank because that will have a touch of red in it. As I mentioned, I'll be using a bit of red and finishing that beak off.
I will be just adding a couple of lines here for some shading impact. For those of you who'd like to skip this step, you can do that as well. And go ahead and finish off the feet. With some blue mixed with black. Adding a couple of lines to the tail as well. So now that we're done with my bird, I'll be moving on. There, there are a couple of shading effects which I, which I would recommend for those adults who'd like to uh, make their bird a little more uh, professional or advanced looking, but we'll be doing that once it completely dries out. So we will be moving on to the branch next. For the branch, um, we'll be using brown and a bit of black. Again, for those kids who'd like to keep it simple, feel free to only use a single color. You do not need to do any shading if you don't want to. So added a bit of black in sections here, but mainly just kept it brown. Just to give it that beautiful woody effect. Be sure to always use a narrow brush in these sections so that you don't go over your other parts. I will be adding a flower here. 
You can do this directly with paint or you can draw it out like I'm doing so. Just use very um, light pencil lines and a couple of leaves. Very simple, nothing too complicated. Please feel free to ask any questions. If you have any doubts, I'll be happy to address them. We will be adding a bit of more greenery in this painting as well, so that it looks very bright and vibrant. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw those parts out. If you do not want to add any leaves and want to keep the bird as is, please feel free to do that. Michelle, I'm not sure if I pronounced your name correctly. What kind of paints do you use? Um, I use acrylic paints. Um, I, I'll be sharing my link again here. You can see what paints I use, what paper I use, what tape I generally use and recommend. The Amazon links to those items are included as well for your uh, convenience. The link also does contain a link to donate. So if you'd like to donate, please do that if you like my work. It helps me maintain these free classes that I conduct every week. It also has the link to my Google review. If you enjoy my session, I'd please request you to leave a Google review at the very end of the session. All right, so I'm going to add a few more leaves here. You can add as many as you want, or you can just let that be the bird on the twig. That's fine as well. But I'd like to just add some leaves to give this a more bright jungle-like appearance. And I'm going to go ahead and start painting those leaves now. So just green and a bit of yellow. You can use more shades of green, a dark green, a light green, or create your own green by just adding a bit of black to some green, light green, that will give you a more darker version of green or adding a bit of white, a bit of yellow to give you a light version of green. Again, I'm using a narrow brush so that the leaves and lines are very thin and look very neat.
So I'm just going in and finishing all my leaves and then I can add a bit of yellow to create a more impactful look. Here I've added a bit of yellow to create a different shade of green. You can add more flowers if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of more leaves here. So for those who'd like to add some details to their token, you can add a bit of green around the eyes like this. Add a bit of shading here. Again, this is completely optional. You can use a black pen or a marker pen to just make the outline this way.
Again, this is for some of the adult participants. You can create these light and dark shades for the leaves. I'm going to go ahead and do my flower now. I'm going to be using pink and a bit of white. Feel free to use any shade, any color that you'd like. This is just the color I'm using today. If you want to use another color, if you want to do red and yellow or any other color, that's fine as well. Thank you. 